what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the Hey guys, we're in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Scarlett. Hey. How you feeling? I'm feeling real good today. I see you booked and like busy. Uh, girl, I'm tired. <laughs> so, what you got planned for 420? You smoke? Yeah. So you about to get lit for twenty? Are oh, we getting lit? Y'all start. And then you performing at the gumbo thing. Yeah. How'd you get added to that? It was like, let's go. What's up? I was like, what's popping? <laughs> and then went from there. Yeah. All right. So I'm playing game. I'm I, I'm gonna ask you a question. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. What's your sign? Sag. Favorite color? Gray. Who's your favorite power couple? Beyonce and Jay Z. Okay. Straight on the island, what's three things you need? What's three things I need? Mm -hmm. I need water, I need God, and I need music. Oh, nobody said those three. Got a lot of other stuff. One artist you want to collab with? Cardi B. One rapper you would not let date your daughter if you had one? A rapper I would not let date my daughter if I had one. It would be... A rapper that I would not let my date, date my daughter. Yeah. What rapper be fucking all the bitches? Most of them. <laughs> I'm trying to think, but what rapper be like, got, what rapper got mad kids? NBA Youngboy. Don't you disrespect the canon. But you know what? NBA Youngboy cannot date my motherfucking daughter. I love his music, but he can't date my daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. One sentence for your ex. Suck my dick and get the fuck out of New York because you're not welcomed anymore. Mm -hmm. Last thing you spent money on? Last thing you bought? Some food. I, bu I What's the last thing I just bought? I just bought, like, um some drinks. Okay. What's your favorite meal to cook? My favorite meal to cook would be... I don't even cook. That's the crazy part. Yeah. I just eat ramen a lot. I don't cook. So you don't cook. So what's your favorite meal to eat and don't say ramen? My favorite meal <laughs> to eat, besides ramen. Yes. Um, Dunkin'. I love Dunkin' Donuts. I love the, the, the iced coffees and the sandwiches. Okay. You need some real food in your life. I didn't know. I you going to cook for me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't be cooking either, but I definitely like home-cooked food, though. But, um, all right, most underrated artists? Scarlet. No, you know what? Let me take myself out the equation. Underrated, right, motherfucker? Now mm -hmm. that I listen to every day, that's underrated. That I don't gotta be every day. I want you to listen to them every this day. Is this girl named Blue? She's fire. I love her. Blue. Her name is Blue. I think her name is Blue Runt. She's so hard. She from New York? Yeah, I think she's from New York. Okay, I gotta check that out. Um, uh, you be on TikTok? I be on TikTok a lot. What's your favorite TikTok sound right now? It will have to be the. I just got another flight. Apple bottom, make them want to bite. <laughs> okay, and what's the worst food? The worst food? Mm -hmm. Chitlins. That, my grandma, man, she torments me. She used to torment me. Every time I wake up on a certain day, it's some Sunday. stinky ass Sunday. <laughs> it's some stinking ass chitlins smelling like somebody took a crazy shit. So you don't like chitlins? I don't like chitlins. Okay. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is leaving the bathroom door open. Close that door. Like when nobody's in it, just close it. Just door. even when people's in it, close the toilet bowl and close the door. Okay. <laughs> That's not random. All right. Um, What world record do you think you could break? Do you think you could break? Possibly. I think I could break the world record of most albums sold. Okay. Most, uh, most streamed. I think I could Set break the a bar hot. I think I could break the record of the most uh, movies sold. A movies going against action? Let yeah, me get into everything while I'm still here. Okay. God willing. Okay. So how you got into like music? I got into music when I was a young girl. I always was into poetry. You know, I always had a passion for poetry. I used to go to school. My ELA teacher would tell me, girl, you could write. I used to write poems all the time. And then at a certain age, you know, I grew up around uncles and shit that rapped and stuff like that. And I'm a, I was really inspired by DMX. Okay. So um, I said one day, I said, let me let me write a song. Mm -hmm. 
And I wrote it. No, not a song. A freestyle. Yeah. I wrote a freestyle. I get chills right now. Think about it. I wrote a freestyle and posted it. This was around 2018, and it went viral. And that's when I knew it was for me. But the crazy thing is, I used to have notebooks full of just written poetry. So before you, when you posted the freestyle, did you ever go to the studio yet or no? Nah, just on a regular camera. Okay. So when did you go to the studio to lay down your first track? My first time going to the studio was I was still in foster care. I went to the studio, but it was a back door. Like, niggas, it was not a studio. Like, I met, I searched online for a studio, and it was like, yeah, we got a studio. Uh, so I went house? there. It was somebody crib. They had me in the attic, bro. Like, no cap. And I don't know what the fuck it was. I thought they were trying to back door me, like, take my money. But I got the fuck up out of there, man. It was crazy. That was the first time. And then I, I so it wasn't really a studio, but that's the first time I actually attempted, attempted to, to. But then the first time we go into a studio after that was around... Um, 2018, I dropped my first song called Therapy. Okay. That was more of an emotional story. It was about mm -hmm. me being like sexually abused as a younger girl and stuff like that. So that was the um, first time I ever been in the studio. I see that you're like open and up talking about that more. Are you like past it or like how? Are you? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm healing past it. Okay, and that took time. It took a very long time. Do you feel like you was going through something mentally with that, or I was going through mental mental problems, PTSD, a lot of trauma, and it was it was just a lot, a lot of as a lot of heaviness I was holding. Okay, and how did you I guess overcome that? Did you go to like workshops and stuff? I'll pray a lot. Okay. I used to have a I, I I used to pray a lot. Um, had a deep deep relationship with God, um, and just like over the years, you know, just. Meeting new people and mm -hmm. learning to trust people again, and yeah. you know, creating my own family and music as well. Mm -hmm. So, all of that played a part in me getting myself out of that dark place. Okay, okay. And do you still speak to your family at all? Man, them niggas could get the fuck out of New York. <laughs> okay, because you know, you're getting lit right now, so I could see people spinning the block like, I'm so sorry. They better stay where they at. <laughs> okay. All right, so you did um did anybody specific help you get through it, I guess? Did like you need a friend or like someone helped you along the way getting through it? I mean I had if anybody. I had pastors and I had a lot of um I had my godmom, you know, like a lot of mentors in my life. Mm -hmm. Friends really, they didn't really understand me with that shit because I never really was open to voice it with them. Okay. You know, I, f I first shared my story in twenty eighteen. Okay. So in that space they didn't know anything about what I was going through. So yeah. I mean, we we linking up to smoke weed and escape that shit. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And do you feel like you use like drugs as a scapegoat? Well, not drugs, like weed or something, or liquor I used to, or something. I used to pop perks. I used to abuse it when I got um prescribed it and shit. I used to use perks a lot. I used to drink a lot. And you know, I used to always tell myself I'm not gonna be a drunk because my aunt was a drunk growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then I was just like, I kind of understood. Why she was some a drug. people result to drugs and shit? It's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. So I was just popping pills and shit, but I really got out of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I really got out of that phase of my life. Like, yeah. So music kind of helped with all that stuff. Music is the reason I feel like I'm still here. Okay, so with the poetry thing, do you have a favorite poet though? DMX. Oh, Maya Angelou and um, like, but the I get it. There's a lot of poets in the world. But DMX was my biggest okay. inspiration. Okay. Nothing else. So when he passed away, was that devastating? Or? That shit was crazy. That shit was like a what the fuck? My goal was to meet him. Mm. My goal was to meet DMX. Sheesh. When he passed away, yo, could I tell y'all something? You know what's so fucking mind-blowing, guys? DMX passed away, right? DMX was my biggest, biggest, biggest in the world inspiration. Swiss Beats produced for DMX, right? Mm -hmm. Feels like this. Do you know that Swiss Beats works with me now? And I'm I his know. executive producer? Yeah, so you definitely No, he's my executive producer. You definitely would have met him. So how did you meet Swiss? Swiss seen my video uh -huh. of me rapping about one of my life, my traumatic experiences. Uh -huh. And he reposted it for me. And I was very grateful. So then I just took the initiative to text him. And I said, hey, Swiss, thank you for, for reposting my video. I see that you used to produce for DMX, and um, DMX is a big inspiration to me. 
do you think we could work? <laughs> you feel me? I'm a, you I'm got a, the whole pitch ready. Yeah, I was like, let me let me try to slide in. And, you know, he was like, you know, keep doing your thing, you know. I was like, all right, I respect it. I respect mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Then next week, and the week go by, he like, he texts me, we need to work. And I said, there we go. <laughs> okay. But you definitely put it, put it out there. Okay. And then you was in the studio with Busta Rhymes. Everybody's feeling that. How did he get on that? He just texted me. Okay. So people hit in DMs like this. You wouldn't believe it. Okay. He texted me, and he was, like, giving me my props, and I appreciate him. And I said, how how you feel about Would you like to do that? <laughs> how you feel about getting in that? Uh, uh, uh. He said, let's do it. Off the strength. He didn't charge me. Off the strength, he did that. That's crazy, right? Yeah, you have a lot of, like, OG supporters, like, a lot of older people that support your music. Do you want to, like, tap into more of the youth, or do you? Oh, that's already in progress. Okay. That's already in motion. Okay. So, like, so, what, what do you mean, like, music-wise, too? Music-wise, too? What are you talking about, tapping the youth? Like, so, like, when I see you, you posted, I see a lot of OGs comment and, like, supporting and reposting you. I don't see a lot of, like, younger people, I guess. They on TikTok. They on TikTok? Right I'm now? on TikTok all the time. Oh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. You know me, But I'm working on transforming that into... Yeah, on Instagram, I see all the, like, OGs. All yeah. All that posting. So, okay. So, the so the kids are fucking with you on TikTok. Yeah, they fucking with me on TikTok. Oh, okay. So, do So, are you... You be dancing and stuff on TikTok? What you be doing on TikTok? Rapping, the same thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Rapping, making... I'm, I'm more of a more of a personality on TikTok. Okay. And I like make funny videos and you know just be parlaying around. Okay, and then you just did the funk flex freestyle. Yes. How was that? Was that a lot of pressure? <laughs> it was so much pressure, man. I'm around funk, flex. You know you gotta bring it. Yeah. Plus it was Swiss beats beat. Mm -hmm. So I'm like it's pressure from every angle. Angle. Yep. Plus my fans, I gotta out, I gotta do it for my fans. Yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do it for New York and all of that. Cause this is. Do you think I did it for New York? Nah, you definitely did. I, you definitely did. I love your flow and energy. You know, you always you always have the energy. Is that like an alter ego? Like, what is this? I got many. <laughs> I got many. So, do you have names for them, or it's like one is Exelia. Okay. One is Cole. Mm -hmm. And one is Sierra. And I haven't discovered the rest of them. Okay, but it's multiple. It's multiple. How many would you say you have? From my music and all of the music I've been creating so far, mm -hmm. I'd say around 12. You think I have 12 alter egos? Yeah, yeah, and just to let you guys know, 12 is my favorite number. Okay. All right, so could you explain us some? Like, what's Scar? Like, explain to us Scar. I want to make sure I get the alter egos right. Because I did, so I just did an interview and they asked me, and like it's confusing. Like I know Sierra is just that optimistic, outgoing girl. I hope I'm saying this right. Scar is more of the, you know, Sierra is the little girl. Scar is more of the star. Mm -hmm. And Sierra is like me. Okay. Okay. I hope I get that right. Sierra, Scar, and you said one was it? Exalia. Exalia. So what's Exalia then? Let me explain. The wild one. The wild one? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just bring it back to, like, I guess the Funk Flex freestyle. Who was that rapping? Was that Scar? That was Star? definitely Scar. Okay. Do the Maybe other. it was Sierra. That was Sierra. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still trying to figure it out for a fool. Yeah. I mean, it's early. You're going you're gonna to get it. You're going to get it. So, like, um... So how did that happen? Like, how did you start tapping into those like alter egos? They always um, been here. I feel like I got bipolar disorder. I got mad personalities. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I just named them each. Y'all gonna see throughout my future and throughout my career all of the alter egos that I have in the songs. Okay. So we're gonna see. Um. So on the project with Swiss Beats, who was that? The project with Swiss Beat is a mix of Sierra and Scar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we ready to hear that. How was that? Did you find out when the world found out or did you been know? About what? 
That she was going to be on the project. Swiss Beats project. Shit. I didn't know that. <laughs> I had so to, you found that when I had to. He's like, yo, we need it done at a certain time. And I had to do what I had to do. Okay. It was like, let me just tell you the story really quick. It's a quick, 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 quick story. I had four, I had two bookings. And I, no, I had two label meetings that day and two radio shows. Plus, I had a, a booking at 12 something. Mm -hmm. So, I had to do all of the bookings at 12 a.m. I had to stay there till about 2 a.m. Then, after 2 a.m., I had to go to the studio and I didn't get out the studio till 6 a.m. Okay. And I had to bust down that verse and I had mad pressure. I had to mm -hmm. go against Jada and Benny. Okay. Lyrical. Lyrical. And I had to oh, outshine. I had to perform because I, I had to hold up. I had to stand up. And I okay. love them, but I had to. Okay, myself. put your foot down, yeah. Okay, so you're confident with it. I'm confident. All right, so we gotta hear that when that come out. <laughs> okay, so um, so you say you're having two label meetings. So are you signed? Did you pick which one you liking? Take I'm about to. I'm about to sign. It's just about the bag. Okay. But I've been to like how many meetings I've been to? Like, you could just hold the, the number up. More than ten. More than ten. Like not like eight meetings. Like in ten eight. meetings. Ten, eight. Okay. We about to sign that. All right. And what is it, I guess, you're looking for with the label? I'm looking for um, artist control, freedom. Um, I'm looking for at least some ownership. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a good bag. I'm looking for a good deal. Not no outstanding, crazy motherfucking deal where you just locked in a prison and you just, you know, because... I want to yeah. make sure I protect myself at the end yeah. of the day from those type of deals because there's a lot of artists that got great potential. And there is some fucked up deals. Yeah. You know, it's all about being priority. At least have an A&R or somebody that works at the label that really care about your craft and care about you. Yeah. And that will make you priority. Even if the whole label doesn't make you priority, as long as you got one A&R. That's making you make priority. priority. You will be set. Okay. All right, and th is this a, is this advice you're getting from the OGs, or is this, this you're is doing your research, or like how are you getting this information? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, no. What I don't <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm very confused. like only a blind man would walk into some bullshit. No, I know, but I'm saying you hanging around Buster Rhymes, Swiss, yo, Beats. Swiss beats. Yo, Swiss beats and Buster Rhymes are great mentors for me. They they helping me. Giving me advice and shit, and I just appreciate everybody, even my managers, mm -hmm. my managers, my fam, my brother, um, and me too. I'm not a dummy. Okay, you got how many siblings? I got three siblings. One died, okay. but that was before I was born. So this isn't the brother that. Got no, 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 oh, no, no, no. This no. is the other brother. And my older brother did that. Okay. This is my baby brother. Okay. 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 All right. So what's the plan? Like when you get your big bag, what's your first purchase you plan on getting? I'm gonna get me a house. Okay, you I'm want a house? A, I want to give me a car. I must get set my brother up with a career. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, invest into my own business. You want this? What, what kind of business? What you want to do? I want to do, um, I want to have um, a makeup, a beauty line. Okay. This is what I aspire to do. I want to have some type of beauty line. And I also want to open up a children's home for um, a woman that has been sexually assaulted and also mm -hmm. been in a foster care system. Okay. So that's another thing that I really, really am led to do. Okay. All right. So, um, why makeup though? Are you I into like makeup? beauty. Yeah, yeah, I like beauty. Okay. And plus, I got a scar on my lip, so you know I want to make some beauty products. You feel me? Okay. Like to yeah. embrace your, you know, embrace your scars, your beauty. Yes. Yes. I think that's cool. That would be cool. So, what? Um, who else? I guess makeup. I don't know. Do you have a favorite makeup brand right now? Maybe it's me, baby. No, I like Fenty. <laughs> <laughs> I like Fenty Beauty. I don't even really use, I don't know what I use. The, all right, the makeup I use is Morph. Okay. Ever heard of Morph? I've been using a lot of Morph products. Also, is this other thing, Javana or Jatavia? One of those. Yeah. It's a black owned. Yeah, it's makeup, black owned yeah. though. Yeah, I like that too. Okay, okay, so you've been doing your research and stuff. Okay, all right, so, you know, we in New York, drill music is super hot right now. Do you feel like your sound is drill or no? Glizzy Gobbler's drill. But I don't even think Glizzy is really more drill, but I don't think I'm drill. I just think I'm rap. Okay. You don't think so? I think I just, I'm an artist. I'm not a rapper. And y'all going to discover that soon. But right now, I'm just throwing y'all them hardcore bars right now, feel me? But I ain't a drill rapper. That's just not it. But I could do drill. Okay. 
are you not interested in doing drill? Or I love drill. I'm interested in doing drill, but we got that. For me, I got a couple drills in the stuck in the tuck, but yeah. okay. So what what's what do you think is different between your sound and drill? To you, the delivery, the flow of it, the way the beat is the difference, obviously, because I'm more given like. Hip hop beats, and that's more a drill beat. Like it's like the difference. I don't really know. <laughs> okay, you trying to figure it out? I'm trying to figure it out, but I fuck with drill heavy. Okay. It ain't like. No, I'm just asking because you know in New York they're trying to ban drill and stuff like that. Fuck out of here! But even though your sound isn't necessarily drill, it's still aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Man, they trying to ban drill. Man, that shit is. Why are you trying to ban drill for? These kids is expressing themselves. In any way that they express themselves, you can't control that. If they want, if these kids want to pick up a mic and do drill to express themselves, then let them. They could be out there picking up guns. They could be out there picking up this, picking up that. But they if rapping. They, yeah. But they rapping. Let them you let their youth and the older ones let them do what they feel to do. They have the freedom to do that. Yeah. Ban yourself because drill ain't going nowhere. Okay. So you are supportive of drill. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Are you listening to any drill artists or not? Wah wah. My baby. Oh, words? Okay. I love her. I love her, yeah. Um, what other um draw artists? I like Central C. Okay. He's hard. Yes, That's my he's hard. You gotta fuck with him. Um, I like B Love. Okay. He's lit. Um, I like K Flock. Mm-hmm. Um J Dot. J Dot Geek. I like okay. him. Um I like a lot of the Ron Suno. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you keep going. I know it's mad at them. Okay, so um all right, so what inspires your music right now though? My moods. Your moods? Yeah. So whenever you're in the mood, you just write in. Yeah, and another thing is I like to step into so I'm a very diverse artist, right? Mm-hmm. And y'all don't know because it hasn't been out yet. But what I do is I like to step into each artist's shoes when I make the song. Mm-hmm. So if I get a southern beat or a down south beat or something like a Memphis beat, mm-hmm. that means I got to step in the shoes of Young Dolph. You know Young Dolph? Yeah. Um, I made a tri- tribute song to him as well. Oh, for real? Yeah, but it didn't drop yet. Mm-hmm. But I'll step into his shoes and be like, what would he say on this beat? Mm-hmm. Or if I get a fucking pop beat, mm-hmm. I'm going to say, what would fucking a pop artist do? Yeah. Or what would fucking DMX say? Mm-hmm. What would Cardi say? And I step into their shoes and I sort of like become the artist. How do you feel, how you feel about females in hip hop right now? They running it. I was saying, because it's... Competition out here. Nah, I really feel like Not everybody like that, but I doing like their thing. Is keeping up with the guys. That's what I mean when I say competition. Yeah, they, they, these niggas gotta catch up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They gotta, we, we, woo. Yeah. Any, um, are you working with any female artists? Um, at the I'm moment, trying. In the works. Why? I'm trying to get that Lola Brooke feature you heard. Okay. I'm trying to get that Cardi feature you heard. Okay. But I got a lot of shit coming, you know. So yeah, you working with working on working with some girls. That's the plan. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So with your DMs going up in music, I know the guys is on you right now. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? You know what? They haven't been on that. Okay. It's a little different. It's like they coming at me like respectful. Do you think your aggressiveness is what's scaring them? They if, like that that aggressive it? shit get their dicks hard. Um, but I feel like most they, New York girls are aggressive though. Just, yeah, I feel like they more so coming at me on some respectful shit. Okay, so that's always good. Yeah, it's gonna be some niggas that say some wild shit, mm-hmm. but for the most part, it seem more like a queen talk. That you know them them niggas. I be like, yeah. Your Majesty, Queen, queen and Goddess of a Black <laughs> Sit your crunchy ass down. You know what you're really trying to do. Okay, so are you not feeling no guys right now or? No, I'm not. Chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. Okay, so you focus on your music. I'm focused on my music. Okay. And um, in the game, you said that you a virgin. So you plan on saving it? I'm a virgin. I really am. But I'm planning on saving my virginity until like 25 or something. Or until I find a true man that really loves me for me. And not just because I rap or something. Okay. All right, do you have an idea of what you want that, like, first night to look like? Or, like, you want it to be surprised or, like... The first... Or you never thought that far? If you never thought that far, it's cool. I didn't think that far. 
The first night I lose my virginity, I wanted to be bi. I wanted to be a grown, strong, muscular diesel man <laughs> with bananas drizzling down. Yo. <laughs> and I want to pull baby oil on him and begin to rub it down his back. And then I want him to lick me, hold me, squeeze me. <laughs> and I want him to take me somewhere. And I want us to dance, sip a little bit, rock back and forth. <laughs> and then I want him to do the do. I would say, okay. Got it all planned out. <laughs> nah, that's funny. But um, so I can see why you want to get into acting. Yeah. For sure. You can definitely switch it up at times. Do what role would you play? You watching can, power? Yeah, I'm gonna get on power. I'm on power. I'm getting on power. Okay, and who role do you like? Who you feel like you could do good as? You feel like you're an Effie, more of a Diana, maybe? I don't know. I'm more of one of the... Um, uh, is he the I'm going to be, be either the snake. <laughs> the snake. I'm going to be either the one going against her. So you saw the last episode? No. Nah. Okay, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to either be a snake, or I'm going to be one of the niggas selling them drugs with them. Or like one of the, the London people. She really I want to be one of. I want to be on it a lot. Like I want to. You know, I think I would fit more on the, um, the the back in the day power one. The BMF. Power, BMF. I think I would fit more. Or like, that. yeah, I'm more on that. Okay. I think so. So you want to dress like the old school stuff and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite um actor on there? The BMF or Kane? Or do you remember? Yo, this nigga from BF, BMF, the son, he get me fucking mad, bro. He always doing some silly shit. But I like the brother. Terry. I believe that's his name. Oh, not that BMF. Raising Canaan. Raising I'm talking Canaan. about. I could do Raising okay, Canaan. Okay, so it's Miles Goodman. I don't, I don't remember their names. But yeah. Okay, so the brother. Okay, I don't need to roll. <laughs> All right, so definitely want to get into acting. I'm going to get into acting. It's I'm already in it. Yo, I'm about to be on Wild and Out. Okay. You did, you did Wild Style? No, nah, I didn't do it. I want to be on Wild Now. Oh, I'm getting on Wild Now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Nick Cannon knows who you are, girl. Yeah, he gave me that five bands. I was like, hey. Did you know he was going to do that? Hell no. Nah. So he just told you to come? I thought I was performing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Performing for the future superstar, but that five bands was like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, that was surprising. But you did perform that night? I did. Okay. So you performed and got some money. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> So, um, any other artists that's been showing you love lately? Um, a lot of artists are starting to show me love now. Coyle Ray follows me. Lola, Ooh. Brooke, Lola Brooke follows me. Oh. Ruby Rose followed me. And we were just talking about it. She's a baddie, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, what other females so far? Coyle Ray, Ruby, Lola. Mellow Rats. No, not Mellow Rats. Mellow Rats did follow me, Mellow too. Bucks. Mellow Bucks. Yeah. I could see her on a remix to this in New York. Mm, I fuck with Mellow Bucks OD. She's a fucking beast. Yeah, she's she's doing her thing right now. She's a beast. Yo, nobody, they better stop playing with her. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. All right, so what's in the works? What's what's the plans for 2023? 2023, come see me. Listen, Mm -hmm. 2023, we got an EP dropping in the summertime. Um, We got a new song with Swiss Beats, Jada Kiss, and Benny coming out. Also, a song with Shaq is in the work that we just shot a video. It's about to drop soon. Okay. Soon, soon, soon. Um, you know, this is New York. It's going to raise the charge crazy. You know, it's an anthem as well. Um, and um, by the summertime, we're going to drop an EP exclusive, exclusively produced by Swiss Beats. Okay. And How long is the EP? How many songs? Three, four, five, six. Are oh, you still working on it? Okay. Working on it. Okay. Any features on there? Oh, I can't say yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So tell people to find you. How can they tune in? Yes, make sure you follow me on Instagram at scar underscore lip, especially on TikTok at scar underscore lip. YouTube is just scar lip. And Facebook is just scar lip. And Twitter is at scar underscore lip. <laughs>